meeting for October 15th of 2013, please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, item one, Mr. Clerk. We have a report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of October 7, 2013. Excuse me, Councillor Studensky. Uh, Mr. President, if I might, uh, I have uh, a young gentleman I'd like to introduce to the Council and give a citation to. Would you like to take the rostrum? I Thank you. I forgot that lectern right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Speak into the microphone so the people at home can hear us. Yeah, we can't hear you. Rookie mistake. Is that better? All it's right. better for the people at home. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is Christopher Koska. He is a resident of Ward 4. Uh, the, the mayor of Campello, Mr. Ron Bethany, uh, and I spoke, and he told me about what uh, Christopher had been doing. And I know a lot of what he's been doing. He checked in with me. He oversaw and, and cleaned up after the state and tried to make sure that they didn't in any way uh, hurt Keith Park, and he did a good job at that. But he's been a volunteer on the streets of Brockton for a number of years, even though he's a very young man. And I'm very proud of him. And I know his parents are. His parents are behind his dad over here, here, John, and <laughs> his mother's over there, Cindy Koska. So with that, I'd like to read this official citation. Let it be known that the Brockton City Council hereby extends its congratulations to Christopher Koska in recognition of his community service over the years. And be it further known that the City Council extends best wishes for continued success that this citation be duly signed by the President of the Council, Timothy Cruz, and attested to and a copy thereof transmitted by the Clerk of the Council, Clerk Anthony Zioli, and offered up by Ward 4 Councilor Paul Sinensky this date, October 15, 2013. And I want to thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Costa, for all the work you do. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of October 7, 2013. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44 recommending that the City Council authorizes the acceptance of the donation of a granite engraved memorial bench for DW Field Golf Course. This request was presented by Paul Gorman, Phil Glidden, and Chris Regan in memory of his brother Bob Regan. All costs associated with the memorial bench, included installation, will be incurred by the three individuals mentioned above. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Brockton Library Foundation offering a grant to the City of Brockton in the amount of $50,000 to perform repairs on the West Branch Library, 540 Forest Avenue, such as replacing the existing roof, gutters and soffits, replacing the existing windows with energy saving windows, and replacing the handicap ramp. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the police department. Request an authorization to expend grant monies related to the fiscal 2014 state 911 department training and emergency medical dispatch grant in the amount of $151,419.70. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Executive Health Officer requesting that the City Council accept the sum of $5,187.70 from the Mass Department of Public Health through its Region No. 5 host agent, the Massachusetts Association of Health Boards, for the purpose of building the level of volunteers and equipment for Area Medical Reserve Corps and further allow expenditures of the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending.
many the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Director of Community and Social Services requesting the acceptance and expenditures of the grant award in the additional amount of $182,910 from the Executive Office of Health and Human Services. These grant funds will be used to continue community programs from October through December 2013. No match is required. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have an appropriation of $500 from Spectra Energy Foundation for the City of Brockton Fire Department Spectra Energy Foundation Grant Fund. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Order that the DPW is authorized to allow the development reference is 695 North Main Street to connect to the City of Brockton sewer system and Council September 23, 2013. Ready to refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The order is adopted. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's vote on it first. Yeah. <laughs> the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. No. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Wow. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. McMillan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. No. The affirmative two in the negative. The order is now adopted. Order that the City Council authorize the acceptance of the donation of a memorial bench for the D.W. Field Golf Course. This request was presented by the Club National on behalf of a deceased member. All costs associated with the memorial bench, including installation, will be incurred by the Club National. In Council, September 23, 2013. Ready to refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Approved. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. McMillan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order that the City Council authorize the acceptance of the donation of a memorial bench for the D.W. Field Golf Course, which was requested to be presented by Paul Gorman, Phil Glidden, and Chris Reagan in memory of his brother Bob Reagan. All costs associated with the memorial bench, including the installation, will be incurred by the three individuals mentioned above. Mr. President, if I may, Mr. President, I'm going to move that we move this under suspension of the rules. Second. Second. Motion is made and seconded to, make, to move this this evening under suspension of the rules. Uh, and Mr. Regan is here if anybody would like to ask any questions. Uh, all those in favor of uh, suspending the rules? Opposed? Motion is adopted. Uh, Mr. Regan, would you like to step forward and just tell us about this? Uh, what it is is uh, these three people, Paul Gorman, Phil Glidden, and my brother, Rob Regan all have died within the last three years and uh, their friends at the golf course who have been playing with them for probably the last 15 to 20 years uh, came up with the idea of the memorial bench. Uh, it's already been made. We want to place it on the first tee. We need the approval of the council as well as uh, the park department to do so. And we're just trying to get that done as quickly as possible. We'd like to get it uh, in and installed uh, this month if possible. We already have the bench for it. We'd like to take a look at it. I have a picture of it. Any questions? Thank you very much. Question is on it. Thank you very much. And I know Paul uh, was a city employee, and your brother were both classmates of mine at St. Edwards in the, the famous class with Mr. Monaghan, who's not, not here this evening. Um, question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 The order is adopted. Order, Thank you very much. <clears throat> order that the mayor and our treasurer collector is hereby authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to convey the property located at and known as Plot 41 Foster Street, parcel ID 065-074 to George Millet, 925 Center Street, Brockton, for the purchase price of $2,000. Refer to real estate. Order that the City Council hereby accepts grant and gift from the Brockton Library Foundation in the amount of $50,000 for the improvements to the West Branch Library located at 540 Forest Avenue. Refer to finance. 
ordered an appropriation of $151,419.70 from the Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security State 911 Department Training Grant and EMD Regulatory Compliance Grant to the City of Brockton Police Department State 911 Training Grant <coughs> and EMD Regulatory Compliance Grant Fund. These funds will be used to reimburse overtime for ETD police officers and fire department EMD personnel to attend the mandatory 16 hours of E911 certification trainings as well as the cost to pay certified <laughs> training vendors approved by the state 911 department. We refer to finance. <clears throat> Appropriation of $5,187.70 from the Mass Association of Health Boards, Plymouth County Region 5 Emergency Coalition Grant Fund to the City of Brockton Board of Health Mass Medical Reserve Corps for grant fund. Refer to finance. Order an appropriation of an additional $182,910 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Executive Office of Health and Human Services Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant to the Office of the Mayor Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant Fund. Refer to finance. Resolved that the Mayor, Chief Financial Officer, and the Superintendent of the Buildings be invited to appear before a committee of this Council to discuss the condition of city buildings and properties and to discuss establishment of a long-term plan for maintaining such properties. Refer to finance. Mr. President. Councilor Sullivan. If I may, I have two uh, late files, two resolves. One's uh, going to be signed on and uh, jointly sponsored by Tom Mon Monaghan from Ward 2, and uh, the Clerk does have both of my resolves. Second. Motion made and seconded to for too late uh, resolved. Uh, all those in favor? Opposed? Mr. Clerk, if you could read those. Resolved that DPW Commissioner and a representative from the city's outside electrical service company come before the Finance Committee to discuss and outline the repair, replacement, and installation process relative to the streetlights located within the city. Refer to finance. <laughs> Resolved that the building commissioner and the supervisor of animal control department come before the finance committee to discuss the condition of the animal control building located at 446 Court Street. Refer to finance. Council Stadensky. Mr. President, if I might, uh, on uh, number 19, I'd like to make a motion for reconsideration. Second. In hopes that it does not prevail. Second. Motion made and seconded for, on item 19 for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor? Opposed? Reconsideration fails. Councillor DiNapoli. Uh, I'd like to, uh, uh, like to move forward for a late file. This is the uh, second round of a uh, block grant uh, from the uh, Executive Office of Housing and Economic Development for the Enterprise, Enterprise Block for $11 million. Do we have a second on that? Second. second. Motion made and seconded to, to accept the late file. All those in favor? Opposed? We accept the late file. Mr. Clerk, could you read the, could you read the order? Okay. <clears throat> the Mayor to accept the grant from the state in the amount of $11,066,361 as part of the Commonwealth Growth District Initiative Program and that further that the City Council should grant these funds and the said grant to the Brockton 21st Corporation which shall further loan the funds to the Trinity Development Corporation. <clears throat> Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. And a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted. Last one was the order. Last one was the order. Refer to finance. Okay. The order would be the second round of grant monies from the Mass Executive Office of Housing and Economic Development, uh, development of the Enterprise Block. Excuse me. Now that's referred to finance. <laughs> there you go. Any other items? Mr. President. Councilor Ianieri. Moment of personal privilege, if I might. You may. I'd just like to announce that next Tuesday evening, October 22nd, I'm going to be hosting a Ward 3 meeting, which will be held at the John F. Kennedy School from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Again, that's next Tuesday evening, October 22nd. Naturally, the meeting is open to all residents of Ward 3 and to the general public. Uh, Police Chief Gomes will be present, as well as... Uh, our Crime Watch Coordinator, Officer Healy, he'll be present, and Charles Kilmer from the Old County Planning Council will also be present. So it's next Tuesday evening, October 22nd, at the Kennedy School from 7 to 9 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Councilor Petty. Uh, thank you very much. I'd like to uh, let everyone know that this Friday night, the 18th, the Brockton Rotary Club will be having its annual sweets, beer, and wine tasting at the Shaw Center from 5 to 8 p.m., 
There'll be vendors and businesses from throughout the area, gallows, chocolates, etc. And uh, cost of thirty dollars per ticket. You can come in and sample all the uh, all the treats up there and all the food. And uh, nothing would be complete, may I add, without sausages from Teddy's Market. So we will be part of the Rotary Club evening, and we hope to see as many people as possible up there to support the Rotary Club. This is their primary uh, function throughout the year to, to generate money for their scholarships. And the Rotary Club gives out over $15,000 or more annually in scholarships to deserving students from the area. So I hope to see everyone at the Shaw Center. Again, that's Friday the 18th from 5 to 8 p.m. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Chairman. And, Council, that's why your light is broken. You wave your hands around the direction <laughs> and keep hitting it. Any other business? We're adjourned. <laughs>